What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review and today we're looking at the Big Boy Stiletto Knife by Tac Force. This thing is pretty cool, super large pocket knife. So let's go ahead, let's dive into it and let's see what this thing's got. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, I've had this thing for a while, just now getting around to doing a review on it. So if it looks a little scratched up right up here on the bolsters, that's the reason why I've had it in a box full of them. But let me go ahead and give you all a close-up on it. So as you can see, the close-up camera, it barely fits in view of it. But got your trigger up here. Plastic handle right here gives it that pearl look, but not too bad. Aluminum bolsters right there. Now, one thing that I do like about it is that that pocket clip sits all the way up on the knife. You know, you have a lot of these smaller knives where the pocket clips down, but this, if you have deep enough pockets, is going to give you a total concealment in your pocket because of how high that pocket clip sits. Doesn't seem to be super beefy, you know, but it's at least it's something. But we'll go check that out here in a minute. Now. Let's go ahead, no thumb studs, anything like that, just a simple Milano stiletto knife, but your trigger's right there, super large trigger on it, but you get it, and it throws that giant blade up, no problem. You know, I was thinking it would be, you know, an assisted, maybe not necessarily a spring assisted to where it would go, you know, come up halfway, you got to give it a flick, you know, assisted open a knife, but this sucker... One little pull down, and it throws that large blade up. Look how large this knife is. So, I, I know I'm not going to be able to fit it in the whole camera. Ah, do I want y'all to try to... Uh, if y'all want to wait on me in just a second, I will stop this thing and make sure that I get a good view of the whole thing. But you've got your standard spear point blade like you would on a any milano knife you know first spear point blade the tip is super dull i don't like that get your tag force logo what does that say right down here big boy stiletto right there on the bevel large bevel on it sharpen this sucker up might be pretty cool standard padded liner lock right there single hand deployment Single hand close, you really got to get your thumb around to get that close down, but it's not too bad. The blade on it doesn't seem to be too good, but let's go see how sharp this thing really is. Now, this one's going to be a little fun because I bet a whole length of the blade is going to be able to slice through the paper, but let's just see what the initial cut is on it right out of the box. So, straight down without moving the knife. There are many, many tears in there. However, with it being such a long blade, I bet we can do a little bit better with it. So, if we were to slice, ooh, not much better, but it almost looks like it gets sharper closer to the end right here. Now, with it being such a long blade, this thing will be easy to sharpen. Now, it is a spear point, but look at this. The tip on this thing is not too sharp. Let's check it out. So, you're definitely going to have to push to really get this thing in. But your slice sounds, hey, they're actually, I mean, there are a few rips and tears, but it seems like the top of this blade is a little bit sharper than the belly right here. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to sharpen this thing up. But I've been sitting here playing with it, and it's still it's going strong. One thing I'm curious about is that pocket clip and how it's going to sit in the pocket. You know, right there, there's no real big divot. It does have that uptick right there, so you don't have to worry about it fraying your pocket as much. But let's at least go see, and I'll have to throw on a pair of khakis. I don't think it's going to fit in my jeans. But let's go see how, how, I'm going to say how sharp this pocket clip is. I'm losing my mind, guys. Let's go see how this thing fits in the pocket. All right, let's see how this thing fits in the pocket. I'm afraid that it's gonna bottom out right here in my pocket, but let's check it out. So, right over here, you can see, slide it in. Ah, it bottoms out, crap. Because guys, you do still have a little bit of room to work with, let's try to turn it. See, it'll go on down in there. 
Now, <laughs> your print's going to be pretty good with this knife. Now, this is the point where I wish I was wearing my khakis with a little bit deeper pocket. So just make sure that you do have a deeper pocket if you're going to be carrying this. However, if you don't like these pair of jeans, you can't get past the uh, break point with those screws that are going to, I mean, of course, you're going to want to pull back. Well, I guess I could lift up on my pocket right there. I didn't notice that. So, you know, not too bad. You keep it, you know, on the outside of your leg right here. Well, either way, you're still going to have that print. But your concealed side of it right here. Pull it out on somebody. <laughs> you got to really grab forward. So, I guess I'm used to pulling some smaller knives out. But, yeah, that's going to be your ticket right there. So, when you slide it in, go ahead, grab that pocket clip. And just lift it out so it can get past that breaking point with those screws. If not, you can still sit it high. And you really don't have that much to really work with there on it. But you can get this thing a little bit more concealed. But when you pull it out, be sure, because I went to go do that, and my finger is nowhere near that trigger. So you're going to have to double up on it. So let me show you all real time. So bam, double up, boom. As I hit the table right there, golly. <laughs> Let me show y'all right here in this uh, close-up, or the front view camera. So, pull it out, double up, boom, and you are good to go. You know, that wasn't that bad. I mean, it sits down in your pocket, and you can get a concealed look. You're definitely going to have some print. I mean, look at it. But, if you're going for the more concealed side look, you can definitely do it. Now, I will show you all this because I know a lot of times with the Milano's, a lot of people don't like the pocket clips. But right here, get you a screwdriver. Go ahead and take two screws out and remove that pocket clip. And then you can slide it wherever you need to. And the print. No, it's not going to affect it anyway. But you can slide that down in there. Now, it did, ugh, it did feel super heavy in the pocket. I don't know what's going on. My words are damn getting jumbled. But it did feel super heavy. So what I want to go do is get the weight on it, and then I've got to get the measurements and see how big this thing really is. All right, let's see how long this thing really is. So, okay, so fully closed. We're going to be looking at seven inches with the blade length of six inches. So it's got a six inch blade on this thing. Now, fully open, let's turn it like this. Had to get a yardstick for this thing. So fully open, it is 13 inches. So super long knife, guys. Now let's check out the weight on it real quick. So, yeah, it is definitely on the heavier side. I actually thought it was going to be eight, so not quite eight ounces. Well, there you have it, guys. Just a simple review, quick review on the Tac Force Big Boy Stiletto Knife. This is the TF547. I will try to find this thing online, and I'll leave a link in the description if y'all want to go check it out. This thing, actually, for the price, guys, is pretty fun. If you get one that slings open as quick as this one, it's a cool show knife. Cool to show somebody. Not really practical. I mean, go ahead and get you a smaller stiletto. Shoot, go ahead and do what you do. But this is a cool looking knife. And what I'm going to try to do real quick, and I hate to do the thing, but I did say I was going to do this. Let me see if I can get a closer shot or a shot of it all the way in the camera. So, let me zoom in real quick right here. Y'all bear with me just a second. We're going to do this in one take. Boom. I don't know how good that close-up looks on the fly like that, but that's it right there, guys. Fully open. Nice little pearl-like handle right there to it. Again, simple padded liner lock. Fast little trigger on this thing, but just a simple little Milano stiletto knife. Again, I don't know how well this thing's going to hold up, especially with that plastic handle, but this thing is pretty fun. But anyway, guys, hope the review helped if you are thinking about getting it. And if you got it, let me know how you like it. 
Make sure you are subscribed, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.